Here's our last example. It's a problem for you to try. So pause the video, work through this problem, and then come back. We'll go through the answer together. We're looking at a subtraction problem with different denominators. So first is finding the LCD. What should we use for the common denominator? We need to factor these two denominators first. x squared plus 7x plus 12 factored is x plus 3 times x plus 4. This denominator on the right we can factor, and this is where I choose to multiply first and third coefficients. I'm looking for a pair of numbers that multiplied would equal 6, added together would equal this middle coefficient, 7. I'll split those terms up, plus 6x and plus 1x, and can finish with factor by grouping. There are the factors of this denominator, x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. So let's shade that out so we know to ignore that. So it was just our work to factor that denominator. Now building the LCD, we're using each type of factor. We'll need 1x plus 3, 1x plus 4, and 1, 2x plus 1. And remember, just because we have a total of 2x plus 3s, we're seeing just 1 in this side, 1 on this side. That's why we need only 1. Next, multiply the missing factors to the denominator and same factor to the numerator. So from this first denominator, we were missing the factor 2x plus 1. Multiply that to the numerator, we will need to FOIL that out. Keep it factored in the denominator, but FOIL method in the numerator gives us 2x squared plus uh, 1x plus 4x is the outer and inner, makes the, makes the 5x, and then 2 times 1, 2. The second fraction, it was a subtract, so here's where I'm making that change. Change the subtract to add and flip the, ter flip the signs of all these terms in the numerator after the subtract. So I'm, that's where I'm making the change at this point in the problem. I'll bring down the negative x plus 1. I even have it in parentheses because I know I'm about to execute some kind of multiplication and it's going to be FOIL again because we're multiplying two terms by two terms. Keeping the denominator still factored but FOIL in the numerators and cautious with the signs where we're seeing negative x times x is the negative x squared. Negative x times positive 4, we have a negative 4x with positive 1x together. Those like terms make the negative 3x. And finally, positive 1 times positive 4 is our plus 4. How do we finish this problem up? As soon as we see the two fractions have the LCD, we're ready to combine into a single fraction using that LCD in the denominator and combining all of our like terms from the numerators. 2x squared with negative x squared is our positive 1x squared plus 5x with minus 3x is the positive 2x, and positive 2, positive 4, positive 6. A quick check to see if we can do any simplify, so we would think, can we factor, then cancel. And looking at the numerator, it is a trinomial that we cannot factor, so we cannot cancel, and there is our answer for this problem. So just remember, these problems take knowing the main steps, um, being patient, putting in a little bit of time and effort to practice these problems. It definitely takes practice. It might seem easier when we're just looking through a video and then a lot more difficult when you're trying it on your own, but it didn't start this easy for anybody. It always takes work. So behind these videos that sometimes look easy, there is a lot of time and effort there, and that's just a requirement. So accept that and take the challenge head on, put in the time, and be successful. Best of luck.